And here's our second example with a diverging lens. In this case, we have placed the object inside the focal point, with other words, closer to the lens than the focal point of this lens. Again, a diverging lens has a negative focal length, and in this case, the focal length is a minus 25 centimeters. All right, drawing the ray diagrams, starting from the top of the object, I draw a line parallel to the optical axis or the normal to the lens. And then when we get to the lens, the ray will diverge as if it came from this focal point right here. And then continuing on in this direction, so that's ray number one. Ray number two, just like before, we try to draw it from the object to the focal point. Now, since it's a diverging lens, or sometimes also called a negative lens, we want to take the focal point on the other side of the lens, draw a ray directly to that focal point. But before we get there, the lens will diverge the, um, the ray and continue on parallel to the normal, so that's ray number two. Here's our observer seeing the two rays. Again, the rays are diverging, not coming together, not forming a real image behind the lens, but the brain jumps into action, says, I know where those rays are coming from. This first ray is coming from here. The second ray is coming from back here. And notice that it looks just like it did when we put the object further out. Um, the image is right here. And you can see that it really makes no difference with a diverging lens, if we put the object inside the focal point or put the object outside the focal point, the image will appear somewhere between the object and the lens. There's our image. Now let's use our equation to find out exactly where that image is. So we say S prime, S prime being the distance to the image is equal to S times F, S being the distance to the object, F being the focal length divided by S minus F. And plugging in those numbers, we have S was 15, the focal length was a minus 25 divided by 15 minus a minus 25. And so this is equal to, that looks like a minus 375 divided by minus times a minus the plus, that would be 40. And see here, 375 divided by 40, it's 9 and 3 eighths, 9.375. So minus 9.375 centimeters. Of course, added a few extra significant figures are not really necessary. All right, now the fact that this is a negative means that the image was in front of the lens, which we already knew. Also, the fact that this is negative means that this is a virtual image because it's in front of the, the lens, not behind the lens where it's actually would be formed. So we know now that the image is virtual. I is virtual, not real. Secondly, or thirdly, we want to find the magnification. Magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, which is a minus times a minus 9.375 divided by S, which was 15. And let's see here. So divide that by 15 equals, and it's a minus 0 0.25, minus 0 0.625, I should say. Notice now that the image is a little bit larger, the magnification, so when we bring the object in closer, the image will become a little bit larger, still smaller than the original object. Um, let's see here, and it should be a plus, because a minus times a minus is a plus, the denominator is a plus, and plus means that it is upright. So the image is upright, the magnification is 62.5% of the original object. And that's how you work with diverging lenses. Notice not a lot of difference between placing the object here versus placing the object further away. All right. The next video, we're going to now do uh, combinations of lenses. Instead of just using one lens, we're going to use a combination of two lenses to see where the image is in that case.